and welcome back to our second final of the day. We have England and Austria again for this women's final. So with England, they topped their group and then they faced Northern Ireland in the quarterfinal, which is a very close game. And then in the semi-final, they faced off Sweden. For Austria, they also topped their group on days one and two. In the quarterfinals, they, play, they faced Czechia, Czech Republic, and in the semi-final, they faced Italy. Now, the big thing, I guess we somewhat slightly have to talk about, is the mentality that both teams now have to drive into. Does that help you from the Austrian side winning the game, or does that just pile more pressure on? For England, now is the time for a mental reset. They know what this means. This is the seventh year in a row England have played Austria in the European Dodgeball Championships in the final. Mm -hmm. Austria have won the six previous. This is the seventh one today. The only time England have beat Austria was 2018 World Cup. Yes. 40 minutes separates both of these teams. Separates these two teams from a gold medal. A couple new faces in both sides from what we've seen previous years. Emily, you were there last year. Now, you watch on. I do. Can England take this gold? They are no longer... I guess they're the underdogs of this game. It's harsh to say because both of them are unreal teams. Yes. The quality of dodgeball from both of these teams is like no other. What do, what do England have to drill into here? We've seen them through the tournament become a lot more re relaxed. Yeah, it's one of those things we know. Austria, they are very, very aggressive and adaptable. They can easily adapt their play to whatever the opposition throws at them. That is something we saw very much for them at the World Championships last year. So England have to make sure that they are rotating. They make that, you know, they're changing up what they're doing because as soon as Austria cotton on and start, oh, but there, a nice catch from Hems. That's good for her to start off with. She was struggling with some of those catches in the mixed game, but takes the first one straight off the bat. Yeah, it takes the catch off Kremzer, who is one of those names that we've seen a lot through the years. Sarah Town, honest as ever, as she gets clipped and heads to the outbox. Yeah, block there from Sharp. So it's five on five in this first set. Yep, Emmy Sharp, her second Euros. Ball pops up. Grill does not make the catch. Gower is hit out in the response to that from Lichtfried on that right. A slow game to start us off. Nothing too erratic. You'll normally not see oh, those sets till the end. Yep, good catch. Lovely there from Neugebauer. Yeah, Neugebauer. Weber is hit out on that left side by Josiah, women's captain. Yeah, cross court from Josiah there, but doesn't get the hit on Lickfried. Bounce so there. close. It's those fine margins that both players, both teams are looking for. But a block from Hems. Another block from Zalt. Plenty of support in both the Twitch and the YouTube chat for both teams. Josiah high up the court. No hits from that. Those two throws. 50 seconds left, so already 2.10 played in this game. Pickering in that centre with a single ball released who has had a great tournament. I'm sure plenty of people can agree. So yeah, we've got 34 seconds left in this set. England 
one player down. Both teams trying to play a nice controlled game here. Nothing too hasty in this opening set. Straight over the head of Hems there. Oh, yeah. Kremza finds herself up court. Oh! Oh, and there's no catch from either side. The ball is popped up. And all of a sudden, England are one player up, and there's one second left, and that is time. Yeah, Kremza got herself very high up court, throws the single at Josiah and misses, and then she's stuck there, then in that center zone. They were a player up at that point. Hems with that catch from the start. First ball thrown in the game. Yeah, Grill dropping that ball there. Second set now. England take the first with the two set points. Austria winning the opening rush. It's a slow one. The ball goes wide. So England have got Town, Gower, Pickering, Hems, Sharp and Josiah. For Austria, we've got Kremser. We've got Norgebauer. Just hit out there. Katy Weber, Grill, Lickfried, and Zartel. Yeah. It is a slow game to start. Ooh. Block from Lickfried on yeah. the right. And stays on court. It is that single ball release from the start that we've seen a lot so far. Yeah, Weber thinks about going for that catch, but does leave it. Bounce there. Bounce on Hems, just as she flicks her foot up. So yeah, Austria, one play down. One and a half minutes to play. Oh! Yeah, Lickfried gets out Sarah Town. Does look to maybe catch and dodge, but she doesn't really make a decision. Oh, yeah. So there we have. Josiah is drawn into that. Yeah, Weber. Josiah goes for Lickfried, but Weber's got a high up court position and takes her out as soon as she's thrown. Yeah, there's no cover from the back of England there. They don't actually have a ball in hand. They're all off court. So Josiah obviously is drawn into that. Like you said, Weber with... And a trade there between Weber and Sharp. Yeah, Kremza just taking the dodge there. Gower trying to get her out while she's running for that ball. Play too cold. Straight over the head of Gower. Hems and Gower come up and they get out Kremza. Yep. She goes for that low one and they do pop off her back. No one can quite catch it as it's heading off court. Yeah. Bounce on Gower. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three. All square, 22 seconds left. Yeah, nice blocks there. From Grill. Yeah. Just told to reset. Ooh. Pickering does get the block. Ooh. Yeah, I think the loss of control there from Gower just after the whistle. But a close one. So it is a draw at the end of that. That draw gives both teams one set point. That Pickering side swing that just whips in. Zu früh für Bälle geben. Dann, ja genau. Sie machen immer den Doppelkonter, der tut uns weh. Aber die eins, die eins Würfe genau. Stefan genau. lighting up women's coach. Und ruhig coach. auch. Sie werfen gerade nicht viel rein. Ruhig auch erste Welle voll durchziehen. Now my German isn't the finest. <laughs> middle line, middle line comes in from Grill there. Yeah, just calling it yes. So, England go one up in this set.
Kremza with a fake on that left side. Cross court comes across. Sharp. Arms out wide just to stop that third ball. Oh, and a catch there. Yeah. There, Nogi Bao. Josiah just puts it nice for her right in the center of her chest and she takes it with ease. Oh, lots of balls thrown there. Gao was taken out in that exchange. Kremza just looks for the catch, but maybe a little too low splits instead. Oh, there we go. Yeah, great there from Kremza. She makes sure that that ricochet catch isn't made. Sharp takes her out in the process, but Kremza needed to stop that catch. Yeah. Ball does fall short. Hems decides against it. Yeah, Leach Reed's holding that high line position. That is the difference, I would say, with that England line set up this year. The discipline is so good. Yeah. And the leap from Verba. Now she's got to track back. Sharp applies pressure. Yeah. It's Town looks for the sneaky one. Yeah, but doesn't manage to get it to hit. Yeah, again, Town throwing at Lee Freed, but she does block it out the way. So three balls to England. Austria, two players up, 55 seconds left. One catch does change this game. Oh, and a great hit. Oh, no, not a hit. Bounce must have been. Yep. Sharp looks for the catch, I think, but it's bounced just in front of her. Four balls, two go into town. Town this time does not go for the catch. Gets out of the way, drops low. Good dodge. Stays alive. Bounce there. Four balls to Austria. Yeah, England have to play that high press and throw aggressive. Yeah, they take out town. This time looking for the catch down low, but those second and third balls come in with such pace. Oh! Oh, and she almost has it there. Immy survives, Immy Sharp survives, but... Don't need it for Austria. She just puts the ball back in the middle. Good discipline. Replays from that set. Yeah, that great catch there. Konter, nur wenn wir wirklich drauf sind. Keine Waste Shots. Sondern wenn wir nah sind oder sonst mal crossen. Da rückt drei auch mal. Das war gut, Leona. Das war gut. Translated from Stefan there. Overall, great performance. Keep it up. Yeah. Very good set. Couldn't agree more. They bring that first win into the game. It's three apiece. Yeah. Single there. Wide at town. Does dodge out the way. And like we said, every start, every the start of every set, just warming in nicely. Single balls only, nothing aggressive. Yeah, each team just testing each other, waiting for the other side to make the mistake. Oh, and there it is. Sato, so she's got hands around it, but just slips through on the elbows. Oh, but then in return, they take out town. Single again from that. Oh, and a block into herself. Oh, and a catch from Lickfried. Oh, and then a hit. Oh, and a rebound catch. And another hit. So, Cathy Weber. Oh. Lickfried has headed back in there. Oh, there was two catches. Yes, there were. Oh, so the Lisa, Lisa takes the first one. The first catch. 
No, no, Lisa came in for the first catch. Cathy should have come in for the second catch. Yes, there was two catches, but the wrong person came in first. The wrong person came in first, so nobody can come. Sorry. So Lisa can, Lisa can go Lisa can go out. No, sorry. Lisa, no, Lisa came in for Cathy's catch. Yeah. Even though there was two catches. No, 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 no. There was two catches. Both players could come in, but they came in in the wrong order. Okay. She did already come in for the first catch. Agreed. Agreed. Well catch. Well both Yeah, so that no, that is right. So that makes sense. So what should have happened is the order should have been Katy Weber comes in first for that Lisa catch. Yeah. But because Lisa comes in first, she null and voids the second the catch. second catch. Right. That referee might come in in very handy. Yes. Because that explains the situation a lot more. Wow. Yeah. What a bit of chaos. <laughs> Sorry for headphone users on the whistle. Yeah, and then our oh, three ball attack at Pickering. They take her out. So, Hems left in against three Austrian players. Yeah. Zarthol, Grill, and Kremser. Yeah. Fake from Kremser. So, Austria have three. There's one minute and eight seconds on the clock. Hems can catch. She's already taken catches in this game, but yeah, nice and wide, shutting that catch down. That one ball blocked from Kremser, heads off. Yeah, Hems take a catch in this game. It brings it back level. Block, and Kremser decides against it. A catch there from yeah. Lauren Hems. Great catch from Lauren Hems. Brings back in town. Yeah, we were just saying that that single catch for Hems would bring it back level, and she takes it. So we've got 26 seconds left. It is 2-2. It is 3-3 three, three in sets. What a set this has turned out to be. Full short on Kremser. Both teams, I could imagine, happy with the draw in this set. Yeah. But, yeah. You can see Kremser there. She goes for the aggressive hit on Hems, but she blocks it out of the way, and then she's far too up court. We were just saying that both teams would be happy with a draw, but Kremsler decided she wants to win, and in, in the, as a result, loses the set. You said that yesterday for anyone that was watching, that the Austrians like to finish out sets rather than draw them out. Yeah. Because it's a mentality thing. Yes. Sometimes it plays against you, and it does just that. The ball does pop up, but so far off court, Grill can not catch that. Yeah, and then Grill has no balls in her possession. She can't do anything. Ball has popped away, but uh, a large amount of spare balls. 5.27 left on this first half. 5.3. Oh, Pickering goes for the catch, but she drops it. She would usually take those. Oh, and Town goes fishing. She's already moved her body out of the way, but then she sticks her hands out. She, I think she was a little bit indecisive about what she wanted to do with that play. Blocked by Gower. Oh, and Lickfried takes out Gower with a great shot. So Austria, three players up in this set. That ball just 
bouncing <laughs> below Neugebauer. Yeah, she was thinking about catching, but it was a little bit too low for comfort. Grill with that single ball release from middle. A bit sharp. Dodges low. So does Weber. Yeah, no hits during that exchange. This game is already going to down to the wire. 24 minutes, 15 of the whole game left. Obviously, some still left in that first half. Hems decides to hold the pressure just from Neugebauer in the middle there. Keeps Katy Weber alive. Yeah, bounce there in front of Weber. That single ball release, a safe one. You'll see that a lot. It's within that parameters of a valid throw. Oh, and a hit there. On yeah, Zartel on that right wing there. Fakes come in. Hems dodges it out the way. So yeah, one minute left. Two players down, but a catch does turn this around. Obviously, you eliminate that player and then bring someone back in. Oh, yeah, so Kremser there. She goes for the hit on Sharp. She gets hit in the air in the process, but Lickfried takes her out afterwards and Hems taken out in a multi-ball attack there. So Charlotte Josiah left in for England against three Austrians with 30 seconds left. So we do have Grill, Lichtfried and Weber for Austria left in. Play two called. One more still has to be thrown. Is a little high. Yeah, but within within a meter. Block, Block there. comes in. Fake from Lichtfried. Five seconds left. Yeah, straight over the head again. And Austria will hold. Defensive throws from the side of Austria. Yeah. 220 left of the half, five apiece. Yeah, potentially Austria feel. Ooh. Time out, Austria. Geht's noch? Ja, passt. Wechsel zurück ein bisschen ab. Deutscher. Super, super, genau. Schaut's. Ja. Geht schon. Wie? Kommt's nochmal zusammen. Kommt's nochmal zusammen. Das ist jetzt solide. Wir haben jeden Satz, dominieren wir. Sie haben ein, zwei gute Catches gemacht. Scheißegal, das passiert. Aber wir dominieren jeden Satz und das müssen wir weiterspielen. Einfach zu Ende spielen. Schaut, am Anfang, wir sind mit den Würfen macht sie nicht zu cross, weil da treffen wir nichts gerade. Wenn sie cross sind, dann wirklich tief und rüber auf Ball. Sonst schießt sie eher auf zwei oder drei auf die direkten und fetzt sie ab. Wir haben die Wurfbauer. Geht hin und fetzt sie ab. Einmal auf die Füße, einmal ins Gesicht abwechseln, okay? Sonst ist es gut. Genau, bum, schakalaka und den Konter hin und wieder, geh rein und bam, fetzt durch sie durch, ihr trefft sie. Genau, seid, genau, und da sollst du auch drin bleiben, auch Niki. Wenn sie reinkommt, hin und wieder, ach, das wird bam, hol sie dir. Und das nächste Mal mach einen Schritt, geh zurück, für die Bälle. Gut ist das, gut ist das. Ja. Yeah. So, from the Austrian coach there, just saying, they need to go aggressive, to cut out those cross courts because they're not working for them and to go for that target straight in front of them and to get a better accuracy, looking at two balls at a high-low against England there. Yeah, so for anybody in the YouTube um, chat, Matthias Cinema Cinematic Universe doing a very good translation for the Austrian coach there. And ex-international, still might play in the squad, Anna Polani was out two years on the bounce, double ACL injury. One leg, one year, one leg the next. Oh. So I hope you're well, Anna. And uh, I'm sure you're busy elsewhere enjoying the, uh, traveling the world. So it's 5-5 five, five now. We are in a short set in this game. Oh, yeah. So Austria hits out Gower, but then Kremser gives the catch to Bonsignori. She drops low in that neutral zone and takes that ball. So Bonsignori on for town in this set.
Zato avoids the single ball, decides against the catch, but releases the single herself. Oh, there, yeah. Sharp goes up for the trade, but but um, Weber makes the hit, and Sharp fails to find Weber. Very high ball there from Sharp Josiah, straight over the heads of the Austrian players. Oh, and a hit there on Weber by Josiah. Yeah, evens it up. Or sorry, makes it makes them up. It's five v four now. Yes. Great oh. dodge there from Bontenuri. Yeah, really nice. Just making sure she gets out the way. Surviving on court is so key, especially in these toe to toe sets. And again, another dodge to the right. I wonder if the Austrians will start to track that movement every time. Yeah, there's not a lot of time left on the clock. Nine seconds. The Aust end of the half. Got to go. Hems dodges out the way. Oh, but hit. And then time. Austria make it 4-4 in the last second, taking out Hems. Six all at the half. What a great half of dodgeball we have had. We know every year that this game is going to be a corker. Yeah. Five minutes in that half. You see the England girls run up there as Grill gets that last second catch. Twenty minutes of dodgeball remaining. Obviously, the games this year, from thirty-minute games to forty-minute games, that's taken from world yes. world championships in terms of that rule set, the yes. WDBF rule set. Yeah, it's one of those things. If we had the forty-minute half, the forty-minute half, forty-minute game time at Worlds, where the final for the cloth was between Great Britain and Austria. In that game, very similar to how we see here, it was tied at half time, but then Austria really went away with it in the second half. So be interesting if we see a similar thing here against England. Obviously, different player set as Great Britain was made up from players from all of the home nations. So from England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. But... as we hear the Austrian drums. What a game we're being treated to. Halfway through that second final, the first final, Austria versus England, England went sudden death in the mixed category. We're here at the half of the second final, the women's final, six apiece men's final coming up next, Austria versus NI. Three finals to sudden death. That would be something we've never seen before. Yeah. You get good odds on that, I imagine. So, England being given their talk prior to the second half. All keyed in and listening to Simon Tapping, women's coach. So the Austrian team in a small circle at the back of court, their coach just giving them a last few minutes of guidance for this second half. Yeah, one minute 45 left in that half time. So it looks like 
No changes for Austria. And no changes for England. And I believe no changes for Austria. No. It's a tough one. Like we said, 20 minutes separates both of these teams. Are the chance of getting their hands on that illustrious gold medal? Yeah. It's been a long time since England have held a gold medal. I should know. I was there the last time England won gold in the women's. <laughs> Just a humble brag there from me. <laughs> you just got to get that one in, have you, Emily? <laughs> All right. We get it. <laughs> so, there's 35 seconds left on the half-time clock. No changes for the refs. Yes, indeed. The refing team remains the same. All players keyed in. You can see the concentration on their face. Last minute encouragement from the ball retrievers from Austria. And we go again. Another 20 minutes of dodgeball. Austria win that middle ball. Katy Weber comes forward with the middle, bumps into Grill. Oh! oh. And Sharp, so close to taking the catch. Bosignori has it. And it's positive trade for Austria. Not even 30 seconds in the set. And England are down three. Two. We've lost Sorry. Uh, Weber for Austria. Oh, and the rebound, the ricochet catch there from Hemsus block. Straight into Pickering's arms, and then a hit as well on Lixfried. Always aware. And a trade there, but England with the player advantage this time. takes the catch what was a five on three in 45 seconds has now turned a four on one some great catches from the side yeah hems holds that high line but she's not going to throw why would you throw that fifth yeah grill comes up rg hits out hems great throw that one throw down low by the side of the leg, it has caught her off guard. Oh, yeah, Grill, she looks, she stares down Charlotte Josiah there. She's looking for the catch from her, but it, go, it she goes straight over her head and then the cross comes in and takes her. So yeah, that set seemed to be going all Austria's way, but then England turning it around with a couple of crucial catches. For me, Pickering has played so well in that tournament. It's what we often talk about from a middle player, being constantly aware. Yeah. Zartel with the leap just over the ball. Sharp with a fake, Gal with a fake. Like Freed is there. Oh, and a trade there. Yeah. As she's hit, that release comes in, takes out Gower in the same way she is hit herself. Good dodge for Bonsignori, not going for the catch this time around. Yeah, a lot of two steps coming from Austria now. Multiple attack, but Weber. Stays alive. Single ball. Bonsignori does 
put the fakes in, forces them down low, but decides against. They'd rather go with a three. We've said it with a tactic. And a trade. Oh, no, no, she Weber gets underneath it. Yeah, Cathy oh. Weber gets underneath it, takes out Captain Josiah. Oh, there. Bonsignore with the no look. Perfect no look there. Yeah. Does everything right. Sets herself, draws in Cathy Weber. With the eyes, she brings in Cathy okay. Yeah. Oh, but another cross court yeah. there, taking out Bonsignori. Good honesty from Bonsignori, I think, has just clipped her back there in that plate. Oh. Oh, and a oh. catch! Oh, what a play. It started off so well from Pickering, taking the hit, but then a retaliation takes out Hems, and then a great catch from Weber. Yeah. So, play three called. These Austrians are not afraid to take that catch just past the neutral zone. Pickering takes out Liechtfried. So it's 3-1, 40 seconds left. There is time. We know Pickering can catch. She can hit. There's still time for her to turn this set around. Block. Good fake, yeah, from the Austrians to draw that throw in. And she goes left again. Yeah. Yeah, Kremser. Yeah, great dodge. She doesn't need that catch. They've dropped one already. They can't risk it. Yeah, now a safe ball there from Weber. Nice leap there. So we've got four seconds left on the clock. Austria don't need anything. And it is a good play from Austria to take out the energy of Karen Pickering, that is someone you want to tire. Yeah. That is someone that moves around that back of the court, sometimes unnoticed, but is always there to soak in those catches. Like we said, the game going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 10 seconds left on the 30-second reset timer, which goes all the distance. There is no quick sets this Euros. 14-5 left on... The clock set gets underway. Yeah, so we've had a substitution from England. Dal Contite on for Josiah. No, not Josiah. Who am I missing? Hem. No. From Sarah Tam. No, she'd already swapped for uh, Bonsignori. For Imi Sharp. There we there go. There we go. Oh. Spot the difference. Yeah. But whilst I was trying to remember who was on the England side, they've lost a player. They've lost Lauren Hems. Three do get thrown. Five get thrown. Oh, yeah. Again. Like three tries to draw it in. Yeah, she goes up. She tries to make the attack, but she misses and is then out. And she's given England five, but there's I think an out called. Yeah, I think her hand just pops it. Ball pops up. Grill does not make the catch. So it's 4-4. One minute played. Those quick, those minutes are very erratic at, at the start. Yeah, hit there on Gower. One player up to Austria. 140 left on the clock. Middle from Dalcondite. This is indeed live. If oh, you're just catching hit. us, what a hit. Yeah, hit by Bonsignori. Yeah, Metzler has been brought on from this side. Oh, and there, nice reply from Zartel, taking yeah. out Dalcantite. Ball pops up. Yeah, just. Different oh. targets, but different targets, but Bonsignori still finds it. Yeah. Interesting approach. I don't know if that was the plan, but it did work for them. A fake put in. Oh, but yes. Bonsignori does find Weber. So we've got Zartel left in against Josiah and Bonsignori. 
She looks for the catch, but there's one high and one just to the left of her. She has two. Like we said, toe to toe, now biting dodgeball. Block comes in. <sighs> Wants that catch. Throws at Bantanuri, but she goes low under the ball. Blocks will come in. Time pause just as they try to find that ball. Yeah, I think there's a ball gone missing. Four, Four seconds. seconds. So England won't have to throw. Zartel needs a hit. Yeah, if you've just joined us, this is the women's final. We've already had one final where Austria beat England in that sudden death. Four seconds. Four seconds called by refs. Yes. Yeah, we're here in Osijek. Four seconds. We're here in Osijek, Croatia. You can bring that ball onto court, I believe. Time gets going. She's got to make it quick. Oh, wait, no. I think the whistle may have been from the crowd there. Leap of faith. Can you see it? Oh, but oh. the ball goes over. It's a valid attempt. She drops her ball in the neutral zone, but was, needs to drop it behind her, but instead it rolls forwards. Yeah, replay here of Pickering. Oh, that hit there. Warning this time around for the spike. I believe it's not a straight blue this year. No. As harsh as it was last year, I think there's some lenience in it for first time. Offences. Yeah. Oh, and a, a, a middle line infringement there. Yeah, Grill goes out. I think she did that in the first set that they won. Yeah. But Zartel with the release from right. One player up, 2.40 to go. Oh, yeah. And there. Metzler, Metzler does get hit there. She goes for the dodge. think it just hits the feet as she trails on past. But a, a catch. catch. And a very good one at that. Takes Josiah. Oh, and then Bontagnieri goes for the catch, but she drops it. And then a block there from Zartel. So Austria now up one player. Grill just leaves the foot. And the ball just bounces under the ball of Pickering. Dalkin Dite with a middle release. Yeah, so we've got 150 left. Weber now sent out on that right side. Like Freed on. The oh, and Dalkin Dite takes that catch. Like Freed. Yeah. yeah, she threw it right in the catching position. It was a right idea to go for that hit, but she needed a better accuracy on it. Yeah, I think it's somewhat of a lacklustre throw from that left side. Yeah, it's one of those things we get to this final. Every throw, every hit, every catch. But that one yes. is a fast one and it's low. Takes out Hems on her back foot just as she goes down oh. into it. And Dalkin Dita, as much as she can catch, she can throw as well. Take out Metzler. But yeah, you've really got to commit in this game. You've got to commit to the catch, the dodge, or the hit. You can't be indecisive. She took out Zartel, sorry, in that play. Neuger Bauer goes low for the catch, but the arm of Pickering. It's, it's that swing that everyone cannot quite judge. Oh, and then a hit out. Weber and Grill left 35 seconds. A defensive England might have to come into play here. Nice one step there from Weber, but it fails to meet the target. Oh, 
block. So there's 15 seconds left. Austria are one player down. They're also one set down. But any of these can make a catch. Fake comes in. They have to charge. They have to charge at the right person. And they miss. And it is time. England, two sets ahead in this game. Time out from Austria. A minute time out will be used. 7.23 after the time out. England up 12-8. Yeah. What an inspirational talk yeah. from Stefan Leitinger. I didn't understand a word because I don't speak German, but an inspirational talk. You could hear the emotion in it. Yeah. Yeah, so our uh, translator in the YouTube chat, the coach saying, don't counter on the ball when they retreat. And last world's champs. It was over. Oh, no, that's Catherine just talking about last world champs. Yeah, 2024, I believe, also will be a open tournament. Oh, nice there from Zartel. Yeah. The two-step takes out Bunsen Yuri. Early doors, it goes down to 6-5. They do hold Josiah and Picker in release. Yeah, Austria got up early in a number of these sets, but England has managed to bring it back on a number of occasions. But there's a nice two-ball hit there on Dalcantite. They take her out. They know later on into that game how dominant she can be. Yeah, and then more translation from the uh, Austrian coach. Use the whole court for your throws. Don't stop at the middle line and be brave. And I think that might have been the talks from uh, Leichtfried <laughs> earlier on when she gets caught by Dalkandite. Mm. She somewhat is a relaxed throw from the back, maybe tries to catch Dalkandite off, off guard, but she picks it up. She takes that catch and they win that set from it. Yeah, so seven. we had seven minutes on the clock at the start. There's enough time for three sets. Oh, and a lovely hit there from Leicht Fried. Leicht Fried passes the ball over to Zartel. Oh, and that's a double hit. Oh. <laughs> Devastating. They were 6-3 up. One passage of play brings them only one player down. And a lovely hit there on Pickering. And then Katy Weber is hit out and grazed on the back in that play. She looks like she's taken out Josiah, but Josiah with a leap over it. Single ball, but a double release. Yeah, and a hit on Hems. Charlotte Josiah left in against Grill. Freeth, who's come on for this set. And like Freed. Yeah. Bounces though. And they'll set with the two instead. Ball goes high above Grill, who has already set low. Yeah, so I imagine that Charlotte Zayas will be looking to see this time out. She doesn't want to. Oh, that's going to yeah. be an invalid. No, not called. Not called an invalid on that. Uh, but yes, yeah, so she'll be looking to slow the time down. She doesn't want there to be any additional sets in the time left. Line fault called there on Charlotte Desire. So, 10-12, there's two sets left. Austria need to win both sets to win the gold medal. All England need to do is get one more set on the board or a draw. This is 
England's to lose and Austria's to win. What a great game it's been so far. The timeout taken from England this time. Both teams now used their time out. Yeah, we do thank everybody for giving us pronunciation help in the chat. We did ask all countries to provide us with pronunciation guides before this tournament, but most countries declined to give us that. So we have just had to make it go as our own. I try my best. Yes. This game is looking like it goes down to the wire. If Austria win this, maybe use all three minutes, it'll be a minute and a half set at the end. Yeah, and that would decide. If that one be a draw, it goes to overtime. Yep. If the overtime runs to the full three minutes and we're still drawing on court, sudden death is called. In that sudden death, Teams it is the up. first player out. Ready! And the whistle not too loud in my ear this time. Greer wins the middle and it is not a middle line infringement this time. Both teams go with six. Oh, comes up. Nice. Yeah, it's a little bit dangerous there on Hems. She can take those. No, I appreciate the help. Yeah. Single ball from Josiah. Into the middle, but Grill dodges over. So Town is back on in this set for England. Oh, and a lovely cross court there from Bonsignori, taking out Leek Fried. Oh, and a lovely hit. Is that? No. Bounce in between called, not a double hit there. Play two. Play two called for England. Oh, but a hit there. Oh, oh and, and a cross court in return. Yeah, Bonsignori with the no look. Again, this time does not take out Grill on the left side. Yeah, but Bonsignor has been doing that a lot now. It's maybe Grill's learning to expect it. And a three ball throw at town, but no hit. All bounced. All bounces just shy of her as she jumps into that air. One player up. Grill with a gazelle over the top just to make sure she's not hit, being hit. Neugebauer with a middle ball. Short of Josiah. They do take the track back. Bonsignori ushered back and they'll go with three England Lions. Yeah, 50 seconds left. One ball. Yeah, good there from Grill. She doesn't need to risk it. Now, if England win this set and it goes and they win this set, England do win. Yes. Block there. Oh, but a spike straight into the floor. Could have waited. They could have had four. Yeah. The name in lights. Wants to take out Josiah, that right side. And a block there. Oh! But a catch! And but a no catch! catch. And, oh, and a hit there, but a hit also. And then a step off. But it will be a last minute set, it's less than two minutes. Do Austria realise? And that, that, is, that is it. That is the game. Yeah. There is a minute 30 left, but there is no time. Austria can only bring it the to one curse set behind. Has been broken. England take this game. Yeah. The minute and a half set is played. Yeah, it was that Aus Austria coming up high. It was all that play in the neutral zone that was their undoing there in that set. Bonsignori goes clutch with two catches in centre. Yeah. Teams line up. Ready. They all have smiles on their faces. Bonsignori does not make the catch on this one. 
but I don't think she minds having made those two catches in the previous set. And I know they will want to take this set as well. Yeah. This means everything to England. It has been a great final. And there, a catch from, from Fright. And a hit there on Charlotte Josiah. 45 seconds left. That England team run court side because I can imagine they'll run in. It does stop Austria taking the triple. It does. It's no longer possible for Austria to take the triple. And it, it ends that seven-year dominance by Austria, but still in that top two. Unreal performance yeah. from England Lions and Austrian Eagles. The block comes in. On a catch from Hems. Bringing in Bontanuri. There's 10 seconds on the clock. England are one player down. Play three is good. They have to throw three. And a hit. And they draw the final set. That is it. Like we said, the curse has been broken. England Lions. Your women's European champions. Yeah, they take the final. The final result, 15-11 to England. They've been waiting a long time for this gold. Hayden has said it perfectly. David has finally toppled Goliath. Yeah. Yeah, and as, as you said, there is a potential now for three different nations to get the golds today. Which has never happened. I don't think so. I don't believe so either. What a game. But yeah, Austria will still take that silver. It was an unreal performance, again, from both teams. Just England coming out on top in that game. So many catches from both sides, but just those two catches there from Bontagnuri sealing that win at the end. But you know, the Austria will go home and they will do their homework and they will come back next year. We will get a player from both teams to come in for a short interview. But like you said, what a game. That's two finals out of the way. Austria take the first one in mixed. Yep. England take the women's. But now the opportunity arises for NI and Austria. Austria. So I have Charlotte here with me from the England women's team. You've said every interview that we've had after the quarterfinals, after the semifinals, that you executed your plan and you had a plan. And that, I assume, went to plan. Um, yeah, it went to plan. We've done a lot of hard work on and off court. The group of girls that we've got have worked relentlessly to make sure we took home that European gold. And I... You know, every single one of our girls has contributed, whether they're in the final squad or the training squad. We've got a really cohesive team, a really cohesive squad, and that runs across the men's, the mix, and the women's, and we big each other up, and, and, and that's what we wanted. Yeah, and you can obviously tell this means the world to you. It's been a very long time coming. Yeah, um, you know, we, we've, we've, been, we, we've always been the bridesmaid, never the bride for the last... I think it's six, six, yeah, seven yeah. years, I think. Yeah, so 
you know, that's what hard work does. If you want if you want it bad enough, you have to keep working for it, and that's exactly what we've done. Yeah, well, congratulations, and I'll let you go back and celebrate with the team. Thank you so much. Interview with the Austrian team, but well done to England. So yes, we have everybody. Oh, here we go. Just indicating where to go. So yeah, how was that for you guys? It was an absolutely amazing final for us to watch here. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I have to say they played incredible. I wouldn't say we played bad, but they were just that tick better than us today. And so I think they, yeah, it's well deserved that they won. It, yeah, it feels devastating, but it's okay. You can't always win. We've won the last, I don't know, seven, six, uh, six years, so six years, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, yeah. Well, it's one of those things we know from Austria. You guys are so good tactically, and I imagine that you know you won't take this defeat lightly, and you will go back to your training and you will look of at course. what you do next year. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So the goal has to be to win um, in Austria. Yes, so. at Worlds. Yes. Exactly. So that will be yeah. the next test for you yeah. guys. Yeah. But it's always good playing against the girls. It was a a tight match. It was a fair match. I have to say, it was. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, and it was great for everybody at home. But yeah. Well done, and Thank we'll you see you much. next year. Of course, yeah. I hope we will. Yes. <laughs> see you. Thank you.